applications have been put forward uh, to help uh, mitigate some of the challenges in the uh, in the mortgage market and trying to make it favorable for the mortgage market in Kenya. And uh, number one is that uh, to expand the stock of the properties that are available for mortgage such that um, the, currently the minimum mortgage property you can get is uh, at 4 million. And you find that um, if that gap can be made bigger or that range to cover lower or low cost houses, it becomes favorable for most of the people to afford the mortgage in Kenya. And the mortgage market in Kenya has evolved than most of the sub-Saharan African countries. Uh, there's still room for improvement on that. And the supply of, of land for houses, uh, I mean for housing, and uh, having a functioning secondary market for housing sales are also essential elements. Uh, for an efficient mortgage system. Uh, so there is need for a streamlined and cost efficient property registry system and a unified and simplified uh, mortgage law uh, that limits. And then on number two, uh, there is need for affordable finance. The current mortgage financing is prohibitive uh, for the large majority of the population. The report also uh, indicated that only 12% of the urban population could consider taking out a mortgage loan, which only represents 2 or 3% of the national population. And uh, mortgages are completely out, out of reach for the entire rural of po population because uh, most of the mortgage lenders are reluctant to go out of urban towns, I mean urban centers. And some of the steps that could be taken to improve affordability of, of the houses is uh, there should be new product designs that help for affordability like uh, having um, low cost houses and all that and also there should be a long term look at options for suitable subsidy programs or guarantee mechanisms it's also important also for the to consider options for informal population and also to consider having mortgage uh, options that cater for the rural population. And then on number three, um, there's a need to Im improve risk management efficiency. Uh, so as market grows in size, some economies of scale will arise, but efficiency gains and a lowering of risk premium can also help to bring down the cost of loans. Uh, expanding the coverage of the credit bureau to have uh, fuller credit histories as well as non-bank financial intermediaries. Uh, standardization of do documentation is also a very important key and also underpinning confidence in the sector by in uh, introducing prud prudent standards for loan underwriting. So basically there is a need to have the, the credit history cover I mean, the credit bureau cover a lot of histories and cover the entire population so that many people could uh, qualify for mortgage uh, in the country. And then on point number four, it is also be, will be important to develop a secondary mortgage market, uh, which will benefit a sector as a whole, uh, while also pursuing development of mortgage covered a bond framework for for large uh, lenders. Um, in uh, it is also important to review investment rules for pension funds and insurance companies. Lastly is implementation. And to achieve all the above uh, recommendations, there need to be a consensual approach uh, between public and private sectors. And uh, what this means is that uh, the recommendation to work, the two key players in the economy, have to get a dialogue underway. The industry needs to organize itself and consider setting up a mortgage lenders association, uh, both as a tool to represent uh, its interest, but also as a market uh, development mechanism. So thank you so much for watching this video on the recommendations that are put, have been put forward to mitigate the challenges of mortgage market in Kenya. Um, 
in the next video which is the last uh, video for this uh, series of mortgage is a sample of a mortgage of uh, just a sample of uh, a mortgage and the cost associated to it so be sure to subscribe and come back for the last uh, video on this and subscribe if, if you have not